Jamie and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about something very very exciting that I did and that was going to West Horsley Place or as you'll probably better know it as Button House. So yeah I got to go and tour around Button House. Uh, well yeah it was so exciting so this video is going to be reviewing that experience and also saying whether or not it was worth it. So West Horsley Place is a charity trust so the owner of the house developed it into a charity in order to maintain it and preserve its heritage and to allow people to come in and visit it and explore a little bit of history. So yeah, it's a charity and they offer a few different tours. So they've got the Nooks and Crannies tours, which is like a history-based little tour of the house. And they've also got a filming tour, which is the one that I did. So the tours are £20 per person and you have a two hour slot to have your tour. It, mine lasted the entire two hours, um, but I think they advertise it's around an hour and a half, but there's just so much to explore. It ended up being around two hours, and I think for the group before me as well, they were a two hour slot as well. So yeah, it was two hours for so 20 pounds. It may seem like quite a lot, but all of that money goes to the trust and helping to preserve Button House. I went on the 4th of December, which was the last touring date that they had and I believe the next one's in April 2023 and that's for both the Nooks and Crannies tour and the filming tour. So the filming tour, this was very very heavily focused on Ghosts because Ghosts is the most popular show slash film that they have filmed there and it's also one that uses like the entire space of the house whereas um, the other show that they talked about and the film that they talked about a lot was Nola Holmes but they only really use like two or three rooms whereas ghosts really make use of the entire building and the grounds so it's yeah it's very heavily focused on ghosts but it's that if there is a film that you are interested in that has been filmed there then they do give you an opportunity to say what other things you want to hear about so that they can include that in the tour. Um, yeah, so people wanted to hear about Enola Homes as well. So they, yeah, they brought in some of those Enola Homes bits as well. Um, but for us, it was mainly focused on ghosts. It's kind of inevitable that it's gonna be filmed on ghosts and it does say that when you book it. So you don't have to worry about having to ask about ghost stuff because they know you're there for ghosts. Other films that were filmed there were, as I said, Enola Holmes, Vanity Fair, Mothering Sunday, My Cousin Rachel, and many, many more. So yeah, West Horsey Place is such an amazing location to film. So it's no surprise that, yeah, lots of films and TV shows are wanting to film there. Our tour started outside, so we got to explore the grounds. One thing I will say is that if you are going in a colder month, definitely wrap up warm because we spent half of our tour outside and then also the heating was broken inside West Horsey Place. So yeah, it was very cold. I was freezing. Um, and also if you're going in April, I'd probably bring like a raincoat or something because yeah, it's probably gonna rain. Um, and yeah, just to be safe. So yeah, as I said, our tour started outside. So yeah, loads of fun things to do there. I'm not going to say everything that we did and I will include clips of things, but I'm not gonna include everything because they made a point of saying that while they allow people to take photos and videos of things, they don't want people showing the entire tour because they want people to go and like donate to the charity and see the tour for themselves. So we got to look at Pat's stump and you can actually go and visit that. Lots of people do can just walk on the grounds and see the stump, so that's pretty cool. Um, they brought out a sign for the button house that we all got to hold and take pictures with, which is really, really fun. You can see like the windows, so like the, obviously you can see the windows, but they pointed out which one was the one that Alison fell out of, which one's the window that Fanny falls out of. Yeah, so many cool things. There's like the little nook that um, Robin and Julian hide in when they're scared and when Mary sits and talks to Florence. Uh, wow, there's so many different things. The garden is amazing. So that's where they film things like Thomas's death and like the jewel and also where they filmed um, Humphrey's head being used as a volleyball. Uh, that's when they filmed that scene. And yeah, it's amazing. It's so, it's such a beautiful garden. There's like little walled bits that they use to film like some outdoor scenes. You can go and see where Mary's funeral was held and also where uh, like Thomas's little wishing well. Yes, yeah, so many different things. Uh, Thomas's tree as well where he died. Uh, yeah, there's so many different bits in the garden to see. So I definitely recommend wrapping up warm so you can enjoy that as much as possible. Yeah, and you also got to explore all of the inside and they do make a point of being like, we're gonna move around fairly quickly so that they can see everything. So beware of that when you're going in. Um, so one of my favorite things that we got to do is they had a little prop 
Dante, uh, so Fanny's dog, and you got to hold him and take pictures with him. And then he he was like by the fireplace when he wasn't being like taking pictures of and stuff. You got to go into the library, the dining room. There was the portrait of Fanny and Dante, which you got to take a picture by. Uh, little things like Robin's chessboard was there. Again, letting you take photos. Um, it's insane how kind of little improvements ghosts do to West Horsey Place. Not improvements, but changes. So much of it is like you're stepping onto the ghost set because they just use the house for what it is, which is amazing. They talk a lot about when they do make sets, how they do it, um, and little effects that they do, such as when... Uh, the actors falling through the floor and yeah they explain how they did that how they managed to get that shoot and also how they transformed the rooms into like with the higher budget things like with Enola Holmes like how they turned that into a completely different building yeah it's just amazing um one thing that I also really really liked was that they had the um doll's house that the intro bit is filmed in so you got to go see that I would have loved to have a bit more time to really appreciate that but that was at the very very end of the tour and there was another group waiting outside so we had to kind of like hurry past that bit um but that was amazing I loved seeing that you got to go into like some of the bedrooms weren't like you got to appreciate and notice little bits but like the bedrooms so Alison and Mike's bedroom Fanny's bedroom and the captains I think we got to see they you could kind of notice little bits that were um that recognizable but for the most part they didn't look like what they look like in the show and for rooms where they did go through like a drastic change they had a board showing like what it looked like before and what it looked like after ghosts um like did all their things to it and what it looked like in Enola Holmes or what it looked like in this film so that was really cool to see you also got to go into like the kitchen and they explained how they do the cellar shots um and like how they go into the basement where the plague ghosts are and how they can transform just like an empty room into something like the plague ghost pit yeah it was just amazing I absolutely loved every second of it one thing that I definitely recognized and realized from the shoot is just how much the cast really appreciate West Horsey Place. They explain some of the stories that they have taken inspiration from from West Horsey Place and like the actual experiences that the owners and the charity have had. Um, and they also, they made, there was like a tea towel that apparently Larry organized that everybody in the cast and crew draw a little face, like a little primary school tea towel. That was really nice to see, just showing how much love there is among the cast and crew. And they've obviously donated props such as like Pat's archery sign, some caveman tools, obviously the doll's house and the chessboard that they have allowed her to have us be able to see in this tour, which is just amazing. I really, really love that. So was it worth it? So as I said, it was £20. And in my opinion, it is 100% worth the £20. So our tour guide was Claire and I believe she does most of the tours. She was fantastic. So she oversees like the art and entertainment. I, I think she's like art and entertainment director or something. Um, so for West Horsey Place. So she all helps organize the filming. She oversees the filming and uh, like the set design and says like what they can and can't paint. Um, and she is on set for a lot of the time. She gets to see them in action. So she has loads of stories from set. Um, and she says the all the actors are just so lovely and as funny as you'd imagine in real life. Uh, so yeah, she has a lot of insider knowledge. She said the Christmas special is amazing. So we've got a lot of things to look forward to with that. And also she's really good at like impressions of the characters. So in certain scenes, in certain places, she will remind us of scenes and also do like a little funny accent of like what they say. Like it's, in, it's insane how good she is at impressions, um, particularly like Mary and Fanny, I would say, and Pat. She does great impressions of them. So it was a very entertaining tour. And yeah, it was amazing how knowledgeable she was about ghosts. And again, just how much she loves ghosts as well. So yeah, that was amazing to see. You get to see the entire house, which makes it worth it to me. So yeah, there's so much of it. And that is because ghosts, as I said, they use the entire building to do their filming and all the outside. So yeah, there's loads of little things, you know, just to go into one garden and be like, oh, that's where that happened. That's where that happened. That's where that happened. So that was incredible. And in the house getting to see, yeah, like the um, the library in particular, I think was incredible because we was, they said, oh, go sit down on whatever you want. Um, and when we were sitting down, she was like, that scene was filmed on that sofa. That Those people were sat on that chair. When, so it was like you were sitting where the scene took place, like in the actual seat. So yeah, I loved that. And another thing that I really like is that they allowed you to take videos and pictures, again, within reason. And the tour is made for fans of ghosts. 
just amazing. I, I love that they that they have tailored it towards us because they say that they really appreciate how popular Ghost has been because it has helped them preserve the house even further. Um, they also encourage people to dress up and like reenact scenes in certain locations. We were all too cold for that. But if you're in there in the summer and you want to wear like a Mary costume or a Thomas costume or whoever, then I would definitely recommend. There's so much fun. She was telling stories about how other people in warmer months had like gone on the floor, like where Fanny's window is, like she'd fallen down or lying down on Thomas's tree. But it was too cold and wet for us to do that. There was no way I was getting on the ground um, when I was doing the tour. But yeah, so I love that they encourage that. They know how much passion and love there is for ghosts and they really embrace that. They also go into a bit of the history of the house. So it's not just entirely ghostly, though it's like 99% is ghosts. But because there is a big overlap between history at West Horsey Place and the history in ghosts, it's never that you're gonna talk about the history of the house, which I thought was really, really interesting. Um, so bits about like Walter Raleigh's head and some other like less known things about the house and like how it became a charity and like how um, like the money from our, the money from the tour goes to help the charity. And when you know, we saw firsthand some of the issues that they've got. So we saw where like the ceiling was damaged, obviously the heating wasn't working, but yeah, it's just showing how passionate they are about this building. As I said about the building, that makes the 20 pounds seem especially worth it because you're seeing the issues that they're having and you know that your money is gonna help. So it's not just like it's going to some rich billionaire, it's going to a charity that are helping preserve the house where your favorite show is filmed. So it definitely feels worth it to that in that sense. And you feel like you're helping preserve the building and bring in life to it while also having a fantastic tour. A couple of things to note if you are interested in going on the tour. So normally there is a pop-up cafe in the warmer months, but in I went in December, obviously. So it, it, it wasn't open. They made us aware of that when booking. And also they sent an email just reminding us and telling us where nearby food places are. There are toilets in the building, which I was a bit uncertain about, but apparently they have to have toilets in the building if they're bringing in the general public. As I said, dress up warm, wear sensible shoes because the floors are quite uneven. It's a very old house. And also the gardens, especially if it's rained, some bits can be a bit slippy, so wear sensible shoes. And I would definitely want to give major props to Claire and the tour guides because they made sure everybody was comfortable. One member of our tour group was in the mobility scooter and they pointed out, they made sure everybody was very supported and comfortable. They pointed out where the terrain was a bit bumpy so they could either go in an alternative direction or they could assess see whether it's suitable for them to go over. There's a lift inside the building, so it doesn't limit like how much you can explore if you do have mobility issues. They made sure that everybody had caught up to the group before explaining and talking about further things so that everybody could hear everything, which I thought was very good. They really made sure everybody had the same experience, the experience was equal and everybody had a good time, which I really appreciate. So yes, as I said, I definitely recommend it. It was such a good experience. Everybody there seemed like they had a good time. I had a wonderful time. It was so amazing to go and walk around Button House and just, yeah, see where my favourite show was filmed. It was incredible. I would definitely recommend. If you can't afford £20 and you live locally, um, they do offer like volunteering experiences and they do seem to a lot of... To they do seem to do a lot of community events such as like fairs. So if there is something going on like that, that will give you a chance to go and button house that you don't necessarily have to pay for, I do recommend just seeing the building it is incredible um, because I know 20 pounds can be a lot for just a tour, especially if you need to travel there. Oh, one more thing. Um, if you are going traveling by train, um, be aware that the walk from the train station to West Horsey Place it, while it's a nice walk, there are no, there's no street lighting. And if you go the alternative way through like the countryside, there are no lights at all. And I got in at five o'clock because I was staying overnight nearby. And yeah, I had to use like the torch on my phone to travel through. So just be aware of that. So if you are traveling on the train, try and make sure you're getting there and like the journey will be done kind of in the daytime if possible, because it was quite a long journey. It was 25 minutes like in the pitch black, which wasn't good. and by the side of a road. While there was a pavement there for me to walk on, I never like walking in the dark, so that is something to bear in mind. Because yeah, it is in the middle of nowhere, pretty much. There's a small little village nearby that has like convenience shops and some restaurants and a pub. 
um, but generally it is kind of in the middle of nowhere, which does make it amazing. Um, just, yeah, the building is incredible. Thank you very, very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, then please give it a like. It's much appreciated. And comment down below what you would love to see at Button House if you do get a chance to go. And also, if you have been, what was your experience like? If you enjoyed this video, then please subscribe and I'll have some more videos out for you soon. Thank you very much for watching. Bye.